Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode, we're going to go over the spaghetti chart and I'm going to show you how to draw them and how you can use it to your advantage. Okay, before we dive in, just want to make clear whatever I say in this video should not be considered financial advice. I'd advise you to do your own research before you buy any cryptocurrency. So here we are on TradingView and as you can see from the screen, does seem very, very confusing. So this is what I call a spaghetti chart. Now, shout out to BTC Charlie. He's probably one of the first traders that I came across to use this trading strategy. Okay, so what we have here is we have Bitcoin is in white, a combination of Bitcoin compared to a load of different AI crypto coins. Now I have made spaghetti charts for many different categories different narratives in the crypto sector. So I have chosen AI, RWAs, and memes. You can make spaghetti charts for any narrative. It doesn't have to be a select narrative. It can be just coins that you have on your watch list. And essentially what it does, it will tell you which coins are showing better relative strength. So as you drag the charts to the right or left, the left-hand side of your screen will be your vocal point. So around this area, everything is relative to this area. So as you drag, then you will see the charts will change. So you're probably thinking, how the hell am I meant to use this to my advantage? Okay, so let's just jump into here. I have a spaghetti chart made for meme coins. So I have gone down to a lower term time frame. So now I'm on the four hour chart. So if you notice back when Bitcoin dumped earlier last week, so let's say it dumped on the 1st to the 2nd of October, we did see quite a sell-off. So you've seen roughly about a 9% drop in Bitcoin. So then obviously you'd see a much more of a sell-off in the altcoins. So if we go back to my spaghetti chart for meme coins, so what you do is you draw a vertical line right on the 1st of October. That's when we noticed this uh, previous dip. And usually I give it a day and I draw another vertical line. So I drew another vertical line on the 2nd of October. And what you can notice then is which coins are showing better relative strength compared to other coins. Now, if you can see, I have Bitcoin in the white line. So basically any coins that are above the white line, they are outperforming Bitcoin. And any coins that are under the white line, they're underperforming Bitcoin. So again, from this chart, you can see that FWOG was uh, bought up heavily on this dip as well as, so you can just double click on each line and it will tell you which coin it is. It can be quite confusing. So this one here, you also seen it was bought up and it was showing plenty of relative strength compared to the other coins, which was SPX. So this mean coin, I think it's known as uh, S&P 6900. Okay. So with this knowledge, then the coins that are bought up heavily on the dip, these are coins that are tend to outperform the market. So as you can see from this chart, these two coins have were bought up heavily on this dip. And then they went on to make impressive gains over the next few days. So this is how you draw the spaghetti chart. It's quite easy. So we'll just go to uh, a new chart right here. So we're just looking at Bitcoin. So we'll go down and we will click here. We'll click create new layout. So you click this, rename the layout then for wherever, whatever you want. So we'll just call this one uh, layer one spaghetti chart. Okay, and the next thing you have to do then is change the chart from candles to a line. And then you can right click on the line, go to settings. You can change color of the line. So what I like to do is I always like to keep Bitcoin white. So especially because my screen is black, I think white is the most um, clearest, especially if I want to see, compare these coins to BTC. Okay, so we'll leave this one on white. And then what we do is we click on this um, plus icon here and then compare or add symbols. We click on this and then we just type in all the other layer ones. So we'll go Solana, we could go Ethereum and just click on it, ADA, AVAX, and so on and so forth. And that's basically how you have your uh, spaghetti chart. So I find the strategy very useful in my trading, especially nowadays when there is 
thousands of meme coins getting launched every single day. So by using this strategy, you can let the market tell you which coins are showing better relative strength and you know to long them ones. So that is your video on spaghetti charts. I hope you got value out of this one. If you did, please go down, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.